When it comes to living life, there's a lot to overthink, but I don't ever have to overthink my water. I've been drinking smart water for years and truly love its pure, crisp taste. It's vapor distilled through a process inspired by clouds. I love Chic Branding and Smart Water's sleek bottle shape makes it the perfect accessory for any day bag, workout tote, or backpack. Smart Water is the smart way to hydrate no matter what you have going on in your life. Life is full of choices. Smart Water is a simple one. Visit drinksmartwater.com to learn more. Hear that? Yeah, that's the sound of you relaxing because now you're managing diabetes with the Freestyle Libre 3 system. You get to know your glucose levels and where it's headed. Manage your diabetes with more confidence with the Freestyle Libre 3 system. Ready to learn more about the number one prescribed CGM in the U.S.? Visit freestylelibre.us to learn more. Based on retail sales data for patients last full prescription by manufacturer. Refer to the Flare NL4 study published in BMJ Open Diabetes Research and Care 2019. Safety info found at freestylelibre.us. This is Dr. Laurie Santos from the Happiness Lab. Many people have questions about how to improve levels of happiness. Living a healthy lifestyle is one sure way of increasing happiness. And a good place to start is with your oral health. Just a few small changes to your oral care routine, such as changing your toothpaste to Colgate Total, can lead to beneficial changes in your oral health. Colgate Total helps stop oral health problems like gingivitis and cavities before they start, because preventing oral health problems is a lot easier than treating them. Be dentist ready and get Colgate Total at shop.colgate.com total. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel Zoe. And I'm Roger Berman. And you're listening to Works, works for, for Us. Us. Where we talk to people about what works for them and their relationships and, of course, what doesn't. Okay, so today we're talking to a couple who not only have the most incredibly romantic backstory, but they also lead the most romantic life that anyone can ever imagine. Nacho Figueras, a.k.a. kind of the David Beckham of polo, but he's so beyond that. He's a star polo player, entrepreneur, and model who was the face of Ralph Lauren for many, many years. His gorgeous, magnificent, fearless, fabulous, I'm also just improv because I could go on for days about Delphina Blackier, is also a model, landscape architect, photographer, and fashion designer who shares a gorgeous storybook, Farm Life, with Nacho and their four beautiful, magical children. Welcome to Works For Us, you guys. It's, an, it's great for us to be with you. And if it, you know, let's see if it works for us. <laughs> you know what? I'm here to say, guys, it does work for you. I'm, I'm here to say you're living get, proof. We're going to get to some of the roots of, uh, of what does work and doesn't work. I think you're going to learn a lot. So what's really amazing about our podcast is, you know, we highlight incredible relationships, but we do always want to just start briefly, like from the beginning about how you how met. How did you first meet? Tell us the very, very beginning. First The first time glance. we saw each other. First glance, what happened? Um, it was in Argentina. We were both going to watch the semifinals of the Argentine Open, which is a tournament held in the middle of the city in a beautiful polo field that it's... Oh, you didn't go to Buenos Aires yet. so you, no, no, but we're coming to stay okay. at that house. I'll, I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you you everywhere. have to be there, by the way. We just want to stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I was going towards my seat. There's this big stadium and I was I was climbing up the stairs. I looked up towards my seat and I see him hanging out with two other friends. And I'm like, oh my God. And how old were you, Delphi? How old were you? I was 17. Just turned 17. Yeah, I was a baby. I was still in high school. Um, and so, yeah, and after the game... I saw him talking um, with my cousin. I have a million cousins. I I know. um, Yes, I know. Yeah. (laughs) And um, I asked her to introduce me and and she said, well, he was asking about you too. So she introduced us. And then we kind of started dating after, right? Yeah, we then, um, I was 20. Also, I saw her. I noticed her also as she was going up the stairs. It was love at first sight, you Mm. know, you could say. And I did ask her cousin, you know, and uh, the cousin introduced us. And then we met downstairs. When you go downstairs from the stadium in the, in the polo field in BA, there's a bar. And so we, uh, you know, asked her if she wanted a drink. Her dad was there. This was uh, so embarrassing. Yeah. So I said, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I was trying to be, you know, we were all trying to be cool. So I said, I'll have a, you know, I'll have a beer. What can That's I get you? And she said, Sprite. I, I have a Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, oh my god! So that was our that was our first uh, drink together. Oh, um, so so instant attraction, instant. Yes, obviously. Yeah. Yes, oh. it was. Okay, so you're 17, you're 20. What happens? You're dating, right? And no, what happens? Because that was that was the end of the season in Buenos Aires. It's now the it's my it's now maybe getting the, like the end of December. So in the end of December, what you know, school finishes, polo season finishes, and uh, Buenos Aires uh, becomes quite hot, kind of like New York in July and August. So everybody leaves the city. So For the summer, yeah. holiday. So I went <clears throat> to Uruguay, to Punta del Este on vacation, and she went to the Patagonia. So My family always yeah. um, does the Patagonia in the summer, um, and, and so I took off. For the summer, so we didn't. We didn't see each other for I would say what oh, three two, months, two three months until until March. Yeah, when school started for me again, I was going on my last year of high school, and I and I went to a reunion with the friends that we were had that we had hung up. So he was around because this was like in the polo community. But you come from a polo playing family, Telfi, right? Yes, I do. My dad used to play. My grandfather used to play. My uh, some of my cousins played, and I knew that I wanted to build a life surrounded by horses, which is what I loved about polo, the horses. And there, when we had this reunion after the summer, he was training for the South American tournament, right? Yeah, I, yeah, we were playing to practice to go on the South American Championship for Argentina, so we were all playing right with uh, with all the other kids and you and you came to I the came, match. I yeah. came yeah because um we were with uh, the, the daughter of your of my coach. Yes. Of so the coach. Yeah. So she said my dad is there he, she, let's go and we went to this polo field so he was there. And I didn't know if he was there or not. I can't remember if I knew that he, you were there or let's say. But we, were you like thinking about him were you like I hope I see him. Yes. <laughs> I, I spent the whole summer <laughs> Um, I spent the whole summer talking about um, my, with my friend that yeah. also knew yeah. him, um, that we wanted to do a reunion so we could meet up again. But I think it's yeah. important to share that like, you know, because polo here, when I think of polo here, we think of you guys. Like that's the thing. In LA, it's, it's, it's when you come, it's, I know a few people that play, but it's not, you created polo, in my opinion, in the U.S., and you continue to do that. And I think it's so important. And it's obviously the most beautiful, incredible sport, but we talk about it all the time. I just, I want more of it. It should be everywhere. It should be, it's the most beautiful sport. And I want everyone to know that they live with horses like we live with dogs. They, they like eat dinner with their horses. <laughs> like, that is true. <laughs> and cats and, chicken, and chickens. And cats and everything. But yeah, horses are... Horses are a big part of our life, and you know, so is polo, right? So you know, thank you. It's a, it's a real compliment. But we do love polo. We, we breathe and uh, and live polo every day of our lives. It's a, uh, it's 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 a beautiful sport that you know we in Argentina. It's a bit more normal to have polo around people's lives. But you know, um, the truth is, what I do believe that polo has is that uh, the outside of a horse is great for the inside of a man. That was a Winston Churchill phrase that I think kind of like synthesizes what we polo playing families or horse lovers in general think about horses and feel about horses. And they really enrich in our lives uh, as human beings, as a couple, as a you know, parents and families and our children, I think are very blessed to be able to be around horses. So, So that's really how we how we live our lives around, you know, these beautiful creatures, which are horses and, and polo, obviously, is what I do and a big part of our lives. But, you know, using polo also as a platform to do well, to raise money for, for different charities, to raise the, raise the awareness of the sport mm -hmm. also. So you've been to many of our things over the year. We've been friends for a very long time and we're so happy to have had you around us and help us spread the word about how, yeah, polo, it's a glamorous sport, but it's also a family sport and a sport that serves as a platform to, to, to do great things. It really nice. does. And I 
associate it with you guys. I think I will forever. I mean, so can we go back? On your first date, did can you ride go, horses? Oh no, can we go back to the first date? So I just want to go back there because I'm pretty <laughs> sure, Nacho. I'm pretty sure that you had a good edge on anything that walked into the polo match if you were on a horse like <laughs> swinging the mallet. <laughs> Like she's 17 and a half and she's like looking up and you're like a thousand <laughs> feet tall. Like how did that go over? Is that but what don't happened? Forget, she rides too. So she's but also what, a thousand feet tall. But not tall. at that point. Yeah. Like she might've ridden, was, but yeah, like he was like. It was me and 15 other guys who rode. So I, you know, I did have the edge, but I didn't, right? I had competition. Oh, she could have just like moved on, yeah. right? She could have gone with the other one, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. So, I didn't think about that. I don't know. That. You know, sometimes what helps you can also betray you. So, so <laughs> I, helps I, you or hunt you. I used, I used it very, I used that weapon very carefully, right? <laughs> but, but it did help, I guess. I, I, I guess. And I did your know. families know each other when you met? Today? You don't think that it was my personality that got her. You think it was I do, help? Nacho. I think it was your personality. I'm, yeah, you yeah, whatever. Afraid. Yeah, I've heard that story before. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving all the credit to the outfit, by the way. I mean, yeah. and the hair, <laughs> the whole thing, the, the whole, whole the, thing, the whole thing. Whatever. We're so okay, move on. so first date, what happens? Is it the first date that like went on forever? Did you get in a fight? Did you break up? Okay, so we that <laughs> night he was supposed to go to a girlfriend of his friend. That's a girl or girlfriend. No, a friend, girl, girlfriend, okay. kind okay. of. Okay. I had a friend, yeah, that I was. Yeah, but, but. <laughs> she's still pissed. The best part about it is not just she's still pissed. No. That no, I'm, I'm not at all. No, because I chose her. I, I'm, actually, I'm very happy he chose to stay. Yeah, no, because I had, I, I had arranged to, you know, go spend uh, uh, the weekend at my friend's farm. And uh, Del Delphi showed up. I didn't know she was going to come to that ah. game. I was expecting her. So when she came and then, you know, we all, there was a, a, a proposition that we all, the group of like girls that went to the field and some of us polo players to go out that night and have dinner, etc. cetera. I, um, I, 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 <laughs> I called the other one. I said, oh, you know, something very important came up. I think I'm not going to be able to go to the... And so that was it. Yeah. He teach the other, the yeah. other week, the, the other program. Yeah. Yes. Like, so that's, that, that was our um, first day. Um, and did you just fall? Did you fall? Were you just like that night was like the date and how'd it go? Yeah, I guess we realized that we really liked each other, that, you know, we knew, but that kind of like confirmed yeah, yeah, yeah. it. I, I, I knew, I knew, but I knew already in December, like mm. last Wow. Like I knew exactly the minute. Nacho, did you know that she was like, not just this beautiful girl where you just like, she's smart. She's like a badass. She's like fearless. This is not just like, she's just not this pretty girl. Like Delphi's like a badass. She like, she'll <laughs> like show up in like a little mini sequin dress with heels. And then like 15 minutes later, she's on a horse playing polo with guys. Like who yeah. does that? Seriously. Uh I know. I I knew, but I didn't know enough. Obviously. Right. Okay. I didn't know enough. Yeah. I was seventeen. I was discovering myself either. Yeah. So I also. So I think that he also brought out those things in me. Right. You know, we've spent half of our lives together. Mm -hmm. In my in my case, you know, half. In yours, or you know, more. So mm -hmm. so we've been together for a very long time. I think that um, we grew up together same yeah. like we more life more of our lives together than apart same. yeah same um, and yeah, the time that we were apart we were kids like you're you're just out of the egg kind of mm -hmm. yeah kid. yeah so so what do you think the secret is <laughs> i i think i don't know that there's a secret or it's the secret but what worked for us uh was that you know that that we grew up together we learned from each other we we made it together kind of because you know we were so young when i was 20 years old i still had you know not my nothing in my life had really happened my polo career was just was just starting um all of the you know ralph lauren connections and all of those endorsements and working with those brands and the and their recognition for you know the playing polo, et cetera, wasn't there. It all happened with Delphi. So, um, and this was also while having a child, because we, 
you know, the the the, the next <laughs> like part phase part of the story is that very quickly we had Hilario, which yeah. is now 21 years old. So, so crazy. We grew up together being parents. Right. Also. So, you know, we had to Which grow is a up big better. deal, by the way. That's yes. a totally yeah. different thing. Well, I yeah. was 19 and he was 20, just turned 21. Yeah. Um, babies. I, yes. We were babies. So we, we had to mature very, very quickly. And we were traveling around the world while, you know, playing polo as teenagers with a, with a baby in our, in our arms. So... You know, I, I think that, that that made us mature very, very quickly. And it had been the best thing that I ever that ever happened to us. You know, we don't know, you know, we don't know our lives in any in any different way. But I think that made us very strong as a couple. Of course, you have hiccups here and there. Of course. Because you know, you're young and things happen and it's a long day. But but for the most part, I think that made us grow together with a thick skin and with something that you know that we were not going to let go you know we were we're not going to let a little fight or a little hiccup sure. you know um um not have this great relationship and this great life that we, we are both trying to willing to make it work yeah, right. yeah sure yeah one of the things I've been loving about being in the Hamptons is being able to have beautiful outdoor gatherings with all my friends. But when I was packing my clothing for this summer, I of course didn't necessarily plan out what I would wear to these events ahead of time. I prefer to wear what feels good to me on that particular day for whatever reason. I always feel good in my clothing. That's exactly why I love Third Love so much. They create high quality underwear, sleep and loungewear that always feels great and fits great. With cup sizes from AA through I, including exclusive half cups, they're committed to making sure you get the right fit and feel for your body. They even have lounge and sleepwear in sizes XS to 3X. So no matter your shape and size, you'll find items that make you feel amazing. I'm sure that some of you have experienced this yourselves, but having an ill-fitting bra is so uncomfortable and it often doesn't look right under clothing. That is truly one of my biggest pet peeves as a stylist. Third Love's new seamless collection, Form, features wireless bras and form-fitting undies that truly disappear underneath your clothing. Combined with finding your perfect size through Third Love's fitting room quiz, you can be sure that your ensemble is attention grabbing, not your bra or your panty line, because that is a no-no. Honestly, the fact that they have half sizes is truly revolutionary because I'm telling you, you'll find a better fit than you ever thought possible. I took the fitting room quiz and I have to say, it pretty much acts as a personal shopper but even better. It focuses on size, breast shape, current fit issues, and your personal style to deliver bras and underwear that are perfect for you. Third Love knows you deserve to feel comfortable and confident 24 seven. So right now they're offering my listeners 20% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash Zoe now to find your perfect fitting bra and get 20% off your first purchase. That's thirdlove.com slash Zoe for 20% off today. Well, I think once you become parents, there's just, it's, it's a different thing. But I know what they're saying. I think yeah. a lot of people are very, you know, the, the, if the exit is tough, always the near. Exit. The exit's always near, you know, there's so always a run mom- for the exit. My mom told me when when I actually started, I mean, I was 19. I was in studying landscape design. I, I had Hilario. I dropped out of school. I started traveling with him. And my mom said, don't make your fights. Just try to work it somehow. Um, and the couple string is the thinnest one and it's the easiest to cut. So bear that in mind that you should try to take care of that little string and not because of one fight, you should make up your bags and leave. That's the easiest way. Sure. Right. Of course. Which a lot of people do. Mm-hmm. We had a we had a, a bond and we wanted to make it work. And above all, we were in love. So we are in love, I guess. Right? <laughs> thousand percent. I like her a little more every day. Oh, you know, I, I true. but that's the thing. We always say it's funny, you know, I say storybook. I actually don't know anyone else that I would ever use that term with. And we always say you guys really are like, it was funny. I remember we were at something and you guys came like 
walking in your whole family. And I was like, they are the living Ralph Lauren ad. And then when you're posting in Argentina at home and you're all just like riding horses through the sunset, I'm like, is this for real? It's actually not normal. I mean, it's normal because it's your normal and that's your like happiness. But I think the most interesting thing to me from watching you guys for so many years is how you're you're you have the most genuine loving relationship. You guys still hold hands. You still. Well, I think they build each other up. I mean, that's a hundred percent. People build 100%. each other up or they break each other down. Yes. I mean, you could pretty much tell you guys build yeah. each you other have up an and you're way better together. You know, it's pretty clear, right? I mean, I'm better off without Rachel, and she knows that. <laughs> but yet, I I choose to stay for just because I pity. Mostly, I pity her. They know you too well, babe. No one believes you. Yeah. Right? No yeah. one believes you. It's true. Stories also. Yeah. Uh, There's things that that the couple do that make the couple stronger, and and even though years go by and you end up being 23 or more years together, you still find other things that make you love your your other half more. You know, it's like I love it when he lets me be free, or he let push me, or he or he encourages me to do something, and I think that's you know, sexy. Cheering for you. Yeah. yeah. For the supportiveness, it's very, for me, I see it in a different way. I see, I see um, confidence and he brings me confidence. So I think those things so are the true. ones that keep you together through the years. And well, having something in common, projects. Yeah. Many projects together, the horses, even the children. And now, you know, we, your kids are still, you know, small, but you know, Hilario is 21. He's a grown up. He's That's a bizarre, ma- mature, you know, he's a man on his own in Middleburg, Virginia, playing polo. So mm-hmm. I also find that as, as also as a bonding thing when you kind of like see that you've have already almost like have an uh, created how you something say, out nester, someone that already yeah. left and, uh, and he's gone and you, you know, you realize that he's a nice guy that people like him, that they respect him, that he's all of the things that you wish he could. You raised a good man. So I think that also makes it uh, in, at least in my case, I know that that makes me a very proud co-parent. So, you know, I, I look at Delphi every day and I say, you know, look at what we've done at at least with Hilario. Aurora is almost there. Uh, She's 16 now and you, oh, it's you, we, you kind of like start seeing also a you know a, a little woman that is a, a, also maturing and has all these great thoughts and ideas of her own already. So I think that also makes you bond even more. Um, Four children. How yeah. many animals? <laughs> Much more than the children. <laughs> yeah. <of course. laughs> Hundreds of horses, and then Delphi right oh, now has yeah. one, two. Dogs, but she says she wants to have a lot more. So we'll we'll see about that. <laughs> that will be one of those hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> she wants more. She wants more dogs. I told her she can, but when we settle, right now we move around. We'll never much. settle. <laughs> no, I mean I think that's the other thing our listeners need to know is that another thing, in my opinion, that I think is something that one could look at as as being a strain or also keeping you so close together. You guys are literally you're traveling all year long. You're traveling and like rooting and moving and rooting and moving. And it's incredible. And all I ever say to her is how much do you take with you? You're an incredible packer. <laughs> you have well, four children. How on earth? Standards. No, you want her to her standards would be make me. No, you're, you're, uh, like, I don't see you. I don't see you as a light traveler. Uh, right. <laughs> so you probably think she doesn't travel with a lot. I don't, I Bro, we probably don't agree on uh, what it means to travel light, uh, but yeah, we do travel so much around. The, the, the thing is that you build up this image of what is a lot or what is not. Ah, no. Same and, fight everywhere. And yeah, we have the same. Same it's fight, no same. matter where you are. Representing a, to the reality of things that you want me to do. It's a very subjective You want me to be. Matter. You want me to be well dressed for a dinner. You want me. I mean, I want to be, you know, comfortable. I want to be able to run and to do exercise, to to ride. I need stuff. I need yeah. those 
things. I need equipment. You know, well, Nacho, it's not easy go. being us. I just want you to know that. Hiking. And then you just said, what if we go hiking? So then, we you know, hiking th- equipment. there comes, there comes, you know, the hiking boots. And, uh, yeah. and, but, and what if we go like water skiing? I, sh- I should bring a, oh, the wet suit. a wetsuit. That yeah. weigh a million yeah. pounds. Oh, but yeah. Nacho, in reality, you actually do do all of these things. We like do, this isn't, yes. right? I mean, this yes. isn't like if I were to say to Roger, I need to bring our wetsuits and my hiking. No, no, because, because you would never you get into the wetsuit into the water. Right? No, I no, 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 no. She doesn't own one. No, 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 no. So, That's so did you guys have a big fancy wedding? We did. Yeah. We, I think we did. But the reason why it was big is because my family is yeah, huge. Yeah, of course. So it, was like, a, it was a big fancy wedding. We, we got married, though, in 2005 when we ha- already had Hilario. And Wait, Ronald. I already knew you. I think yeah. I yeah. met you right after that. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Um, so we mm-hmm. we had a wedding in Argentina, Delphi's um, farm, family mm-hmm. farm, which mm-hmm. is this farm an hour outside of the city. And she has a million cousins and uncles and aunts. And so yeah. so the, the must, li- like the list in the list of uh, guests, 150 mm-hmm. people were my first cousins that I could not yeah. not invite. 150 Stop it. first cousins? Yes, Wait, why do you have so many cousins? I have two. Because I have 30, I have 37 from one side and like a, 20. 20 from the other. And yeah. I'm from the youngest generation. So all of my older cousins are married. They have kids. They have families. Like So that was a big number. And then your family. Yeah, mine is also quite big. So cousins on my side too. And then lots of friends. And, and friends. then friends that came from all over. Yeah. Um, it was a big wedding. I love that though. So you were together for like, what, 15, uh, like 10 years before you got married? And, our, and uh, Hilario came with, uh, had the, uh, the, rings. the rings, which was Aww. cute. You know, I must say that, it, you know, we didn't plan it that way, but, you know, it's a very cute thing to get. Oh, you know, I love that, get, actually. Get married with your, you know, children. At least we'll do another, another wedding. We'll invite you and yeah. we have Aww. all our kids from there. We were going to do one, you guys. We were going to do one in a few weeks from now, but you weren't here, but we canceled it because of COVID. But we're 30 years. August 29th is 30 years together. When shopping or putting together a look, it can be difficult to choose between a ton of fabulous options. My secret is that I personally always look for the pieces that have that little extra something that makes them truly special. In fact, I'm always looking for that extra something no matter what I'm doing, and that's why I choose to drink Fizzy. As the first hard seltzer with antioxidant vitamin C, Fizzy brings something unique and delicious to the table. There are plenty of hard seltzers to choose from, but with eight bold and delicious dual fruit flavors and antioxidant vitamin C extracted from acerola cherry, Vizzy makes the choice a little easier and a lot tastier. And just in time for summer, Vizzy Hard Seltzer just dropped an all watermelon variety pack. These special flavors are made with real watermelon juice and as always, the vitamin C that Vizzy is known for. The watermelon variety pack features four brand new delicious flavors, including blueberry, watermelon, kiwi, watermelon, passion fruit, watermelon, and mango watermelon. Between this new variety pack, Vizzy Classic Flavors and Vizzy Lemonade, Vizzy is an absolute crowd pleaser that's a must at any summer gathering. I absolutely love the mango watermelon myself. It's so delicious and beyond perfect for the season. It never hurts to add a little vitamin C into the mix. So why not upgrade your hard seltzer to Vizzy? It is definitely the option that has that extra something special that you've been looking for. To find out where you can purchase Vizzy, go to VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash Zoe. That's VizzyHardSeltzer.com. Dot com slash Zoe. To get updates on our latest flavor drops and more, sign up for our emails at VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. That's VizzyHardSeltzer.com backslash subscribe. You must be 21 to enjoy Vizzy. I tried to get my kids on horses, you guys. I really did. I'm not giving up yet. LA, by the way. How are they doing? I, They're amazing. They're so They're good. They're so good. They're so sweet, you guys. They're so sweet. Yeah. I just want to keep them sweet. They're good boys <laughs> with big hearts. But I wish I was like you guys. I wish we had two more. I just fit. You know what it is? There's something about kids. It's the chaos. It's the noise. It's the mayhem. It's the like, 
I don't know. It's just the best part of life, in my opinion. It's exhausting, but it's just the best thing ever. Oh, yeah. You I know? wish we had four. We would I like wish four. we had four. I do. You, we always look at it wait, like... You waited too long. Yeah, you know? you, we did. You were, you were very busy, which is great, but it's yeah. wonderful that you have it's your... A young, it's a young person's game. <laughs> 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 hey, um... <laughs> So how did like COVID happen for you? Where were you? Were you, oh. were you trapped? Like, cause you travel, like what happened? Do you like, just where like were you guys? hunker down? So we were in Florida last year. <sighs> That's right. Um, That's right. When, when everything started to go downhill, like really badly, I was here in Aspen going back home to Florida and everything started closing up and we couldn't go back home. Um, we usually spend January through April in Florida. Then we go April, May in Argentina. We were um, we were in Florida, which was a bit Pretty more normal. open. We live, we live in a community in Florida that that is very open right. and horse horse or oriented. So we we did you know in the toughest part of it all. Uh, you know we had the opportunity to go right. out and bike yeah. and even ride because uh, we kept it. Now, in a way where no, we, we have were, to, if you have horses, you are responsible for them. So you need yeah, to go we exercise. Had, yeah, sure. So we had, a little, we had a little bubble between the, uh, our, our, te- our teammates. Yeah. We were like maybe six families that we, we would create go, like a pod, like yeah, a safe we, pod. We would go together and we would continue to ride the horses, which needed to be exercised. So and the kids also were able to socialize and were not isolated 100%. Yeah, so we yeah, were blessed and lucky. And for us, you know, for I think for a lot of families, the one of the hardest parts about um, COVID was having to stay in a closed environment. Yeah, and of also course. the whole home, homeschooling thing, I think, was was stressful for a lot of people. And but the truth is, for us, you know, that part wasn't so stressful for us because our children are used to that. Yeah, that's what we do. Even when though it was a little different because when we used to home, part homeschool, because what we people ask me, how do you do in school? How do you educate your kids? Um, so my kids go to school in Argentina and when we travel, they keep up with the program. The curriculum and, and you have a teacher that's I have a tutor that travels yeah. with us. Yeah. So when COVID hit, our tutor had to go back home. Right. So it was really intense. It's so way, hard for kids. Oh, well, three of right. them. It's super intense. It's much more intense than having a tutor and yeah, having her teach them for a few hours and then you do other things and you go to see other things. And this was like nonstop four hours in the morning, four hours in the afternoon. So it they did so Zoom, crazy. they did the Argentine and Zoom. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But no yes. choice. So 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 we were we That's were a lot. It's misery. Yeah, it was a lot, but we were lucky. Uh we had a pretty and then in this in the summer we went to the Hamptons last year. So we were yeah. there. We were I heard there that was nice Hampton. last year. And, it was nice. Yeah. And I managed to bring a tutor back. So that part was yeah. better. By the way, Delphi, I remember calling you about homeschool because we ended up getting a teacher at home this past year. We pulled our kids out of school. We were like, we just want a teacher. And I have to tell you, we loved it. We actually yeah. really, yes. really loved it. We thought, I'm actually really, really going to miss it this year. Like, I loved that I could be with them, watch them learn. We were part of things. It was pretty incredible, honestly. I, yeah. I always say, you know, I'm very, I have lunch and dinner with my children every day of my life, you know? It's the best Which thing not ever. Many, not many dads or parents can say that. So it's a, it's a blessing. And I think a lot of parents experienced that during COVID. That was the one of the positive sides of COVID. I think for mo- a lot of families, it was the opportunity, at least, you know, in the, uh, you know, to spend a lot of time as a family together. That, that brings, can bring stress also, et cetera. But it was discovering that, right? Discovering your children and your families and spending more time uh, together and playing games and doing things that you other, you know otherwise we were all too busy going too fast uh, yeah so. i i totally agree um okay so i've i have two more questions what do you guys ever fight or do you fight yeah. like us you just bicker and then it's over in two minutes no, yeah. I, we fight yeah we fight but like but like you but but like, no i think that we fight like very rarely but when we fight we fight. Um, yeah. How long will you stay mad? Like a day? Cause like I have to be really mad to like hold it. 
like to hold it overnight and be like, don't talk to me right now. Like, I'm so done with you right now. You leave the room. Or we just bicker, you know, like Lucy and Ricky, and then it's over. Like, what do you want for dinner? It's like little fights, like you. Yeah. But punctuality, she's always late. So, you know, I'm always like, come on, we're going to be late. Come on. And but then the she's like, is and then she's like, and she's like, what do you mean? It's not me. It's your fault. And I'm like, well, like she, she like, when you push her, she pushes you harder. In of the course same she does. She's yeah. fiery. Yeah. That's my Delphi. She's same like direct. that. She's got fire. She's she like. Turns, turns it around. She turns her um, um, punctuality on me. Then it's me. I was late because I was not paying attention. Right? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm going to let you judge. So <laughs> we have dinner 7.30. He's in the stables taking care of whatever. His horses and stuff. It's 7 o'clock. I'm dressed and uh, already creams everything on like ready and he comes here he takes a shower two seconds washes puts a shirt on and he's like let's go i'm ready it's and then so I, get the bar, I forget I, ha- I needed a coat because i forgot my <laughs> so i go back and he, when i come back he's like see you don't care you were always late this is your fault meanwhile he was undressed five seconds ago I know, but i but i calculated my time so that i would be in time on time you know Anyway, so those are, that, that's how far as our fights. Okay, 20 years from now, what's happening? Oh, I don't know. You're going to have grandkids. I don't I mean, know. I mean, Elaria's going to give that's you... That's too much. That's too much pressure on the relationship. Well, let's think about tomorrow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you want to know what I think in 20 years from now, you're going to be just this. You're going to be just... You're going to look exactly probably, the same. Probably. Yeah. Just because I'm not thinking about the next 20 years, I'm thinking about tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be the same. We will continue to play polo and travel around the world. Maybe not as good as, her, but mo- it'd be mostly following the children, which will probably be playing. Um, all of them? Do you think all of them will play? The the boys for sure. Aurora loves to courses and loves to play, but she's more into photography and art and things. Like that. What about my Alba? What about mine? Aurora, Aurora will, you know, who knows? Probably will marry or not a, another polo player. So that could also be a part of her life or not, or not. we don't know um and alba alba i say alba we i she's always gonna... say i'm gonna put a brick on your head on her head and she's gonna stay <laughs> little oh uh, alba will love always her. Be, yeah how old is she but, she's seven eight eight, eight. She's, yeah she's delphi she looks just like you my god she's yeah. like mini me mini delphi yeah oh my god these kids i love them so much you guys so okay so I just want to say that of all the people in our lives, of all the relationships, <clears throat> couples and families, you guys are like, you, I mean, it's the thing is, I don't think it's make believe. I think you call each other out on your things. I think you're tough enough with each other, but you guys have honestly the most beautiful family and relationship of, honestly, I can't think of another family in our lives that I just am like, magical you guys are just we love you so much and you're such special people and I just I love the life that you guys live together and I love that you love the same things you know and I love that you support each other because Raj and I people always ask us like what's the secret and we're always like we root for each other and you guys root for yes. each other you know that's, a, that's, that's a, exactly that's so a very good, good way to put it we we, we root we, for each other we do root for each other compa- competitive. you can't be competitive a lot of couples no, are competitive. No. we can tell that you are the same way and uh, i think that it's very helpful exactly it's not a competition it's it's always okay doing either things together or supporting whatever the other person's doing um that that is a big part of uh and you know and also i think acknowledging how blessed we are and how lucky we are to have each other and how lucky we are to have the lives that we have right we're very we're very blessed Fortunate. yeah every Huge. day we say it every day even when you're so tired you just go not complaining not no. complaining not complaining okay so you guys we have uh, like three questions we'll ask you and we're gonna let you go and then, and then i feel like you guys are both jumping back on horses because that's what you do um <laughs> I okay I feel like for some reason, this is going to be really funny. But the idea is that you have to answer for each other. Yes. Yes. Okay, Delphi, what would Nacho get arrested for? <laughs> I, for, I, for the record, I've never been arrested, okay, yet. <laughs> but let's see what, let's see what Delphi but has. If you to were to be, what would it be? <laughs> oh, my God. 
I don't know. He's perfect. He really is. He's it's really annoying. Perfect. What did yeah, you get arrested for? Like mine is like I would get arrested in an airport for yelling at security, hundred percent, because they're trying to take my bags. You know, like, don't hundred percent. Don't touch my purse. Oh no, no, you have no idea. Roger's like they're doing their job. I'm like, why my bag? Why do they have to open everything? Blah. All right, so, so he's gonna get arrested for being too kind. Yeah, the other day, the other day we went to I, I don't know, we were going from somewhere to somewhere and. They took her cream. She had this like beautiful new huge Holy cream God. that she yes. got, that she knows she got. I'm like, I looked at her like, really? You're kidding me? You did bring that? I did. I did. Uh, <laughs> what? A cream I like something more than three ounces. Take me on the way out. So <laughs> I forgot about that. I mean, it was like a huge cleanser from Chanel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> brutal. That's got and, and so I went to the guy. I said, please don't throw this away. Just take it to your wife. It's <laughs> really like. <laughs> Uh, yeah. she, That's amazing. She, she got arrested oh for that. She what, was. Really- what would Delphi get arrested for, Nacho? <laughs> no, no, not much. I feel like uh, she's fiery. I feel like she can be. She doesn't know how to back up a car. She's, oh. yeah. <laughs> she, can, she, she drives super well, but not backwards. <laughs> not backwards. You're not supposed to drive backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going for manslaughter. <laughs> to be arrested for manslaughter. No. Well, accidentally backing into someone. They go for the saying. new cars. The new cars kind of like break by themselves. Yeah, they do, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what about last meal, you guys, on Earth? What would you eat? What would Delphi eat, Nacho? What would be like her dream? The, yeah, oysters, for sure. Oysters. She loves oysters, yeah. yeah. And what would nachos be, Delphi? Um, a really good piece of meat. I was about to say steak. Steak, for sure. Obviously. For sure. Okay, Delphi, if Nacho had an extra five hours in the day, what would he spend doing? I already know the answer to this. What would he do with five extra hours in his day? He'd probably be doing a horse and reading something. Okay. He'd, he'd be informing himself of some kind of like new cryptocurrency or, <laughs> or something. Hey. Uh, or, or on a horse. What's yeah. trending? What's <laughs> trending? You know, let's learn about it, right? <laughs> and what would Delphi's extra five hours be? Delphi extra five hours. She also does love horses very much. A horses, animals, garden, farm. Just be outside. Uh, be outside yeah. in nature and animals. Yeah. It's like your happiest place. Yes. I dream to be like that. We need to, we really need yeah, to do this nice. more. A little overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I try, you guys. I try. I really do. I really do. Oh, it's fine. We love you guys so much. We're gonna let you go back. Thanks we for having us. It was great. We, um, it's a fun. You, you do this uh, fun, great, fun thing. Uh, uh, I'm not surprised that you know that you do it so well. Yeah. You're always so creative and always doing great things. Aww. And. So, right back at you guys, by the way. I mean, this is probably our greatest triumph, this podcast. <laughs> it's our greatest triumph. When you think about our it. Our children are our greatest triumph. Well, they're okay, but just being just being able to speak to all these people, it's just, no, it's just no, magical. But, but the you truth is... From, you learn from them, too. Yeah. You know, no, we, I, I'm teasing. I really do like it. We love it, and we really have learned so much. And what we have learned is that really successful relationships have a very common thread, which is they're not competitive and they, and they really do root for each other. And, you know, whether it's friendships, it's siblings, it's couples, it's all the same. They're, they're, they're not competitive with each other and they root for each other. And that seems to really be the common thread in every single relationship that we, that we honestly like it also get to just learn respect from. it also trust it doesn't seem like you know you guys are running around it's like you know you can't deal with that. you can't have that stuff no no, you can, no. I no. Think can't have that stuff also very important yes of course that's and, important and it also makes you more into the other side because you've respected and and you you like i mean i like to be respected and and of course he i'm not waiting for him to go running around like that that's out of the... That's, that, that's what I always say. It, not an option. The minute I think about where he is, it's over. It's over. <laughs> exactly. I've never thought about it. Not in 30 years. No. It's, it's not an option. And once you realize what you have next to you, you know, there's nothing better out there. You know, the, the thought of something better, you know, it's just... It's like a, not a thought. I'm frankly too lazy anyway. No, and it's an unrealistic thought. You know, why, why would you ever want to do anything with someone 
else than the person that you love and the mother of your children and someone that loves you and respects you and you know with your good and your bad so it's just a it's just a blessing to have someone like her next to me and I'll do anything in my power to take care of I could not of, ask for a better partner yeah. Oh, now I'm nauseous. All right. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I wish we had what they had, Rachel. Look at me. <laughs> no, he, but, but honestly, you guys, we, we love you so much. And this was so much fun and we're so thank happy you, to thank have you, you on. Thank you. you know what my dad said to me the other day? He said, when are you going to have Nacho and Delfina? And I said, funny you asked that dad. We're literally talking to them on Thursday. <laughs> they, love. They, miss you. they miss you guys so much. They do. Uh -huh. They really, really do. And I love you both. Bye. Love you guys. Have the best time, you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you again. I really bye. appreciate it. To the family. I love you. All right. Bye. Take care of mucho. Okay. So, babe, I know that you can't even handle it because they actually are the real life perfect humans. And it like you have to make funny jokes because you can't deal with the fact how I'm, perfect they actually are in real thing. life. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little pissed off actually, because <laughs> you know, we are in 30 years and I think we, you know, and I think they make you, he no, makes you look bad. I know. And we kind of, I thought we had a storybook kind of uh, relationship, but I now, feel like we look like pretty crap. Much, yeah. Next I'm pretty to much them. depressed. They have four perfect kids. <laughs> I mean, they really do love each other more than we do. I'm not going to lie. I saw them and I'm like, I looked at you and I'm like, yeah, more or less. I had, Are I you got, trying to be cool? I got a more or less is what I thought about Really? It. Because last night you told me I was the only thing that matters to you in this whole universe and that I was the prettiest person in the world. Um, I may have been um, motivated to okay. say those well, things. Well, anyway. They um, are amazing. They are literally, I just need to actually recap for one second. They have been, we've been friends with them probably almost 20 years, 15 years at least. And I have to tell you, they have always been the kindest, classiest, They're so classy. polite, unpretentious, well -mannered. family, well-mannered as my, my mother. I always quote my mother, Ugh, Rachel, when I see them, I just don't know who I want to look at more. They're both so drop dead beautiful and the kindest, sweetest, most polite people. And my mom goes, who cares about me? And she said, Nacho always goes out of his way to like help me up steps or like ask me how I am. They are the kindest people. They were raised so well. It's also a cultural thing. And I think in America, sometimes, you know, we don't see that as much. And I think they were raised in such big families and they have kids around them all the time and so much family around them all the time. Their priorities are just always straight and they travel as a family and they homeschool. And, you know, it's not that they don't fight. They're not like, you know, unrealistic human beings, but I would say that they are just really magical, beautiful, wonderful people. And that is all I can say. And their love story is also beautiful. And by the way, if you ever want to look them up, you know, in their Ralph Lauren ads, it's actually like make believe. They ride in on their horses with their hair blowing in the wind, riding through the ocean. And that is actually how they live their life on and off camera. I just would like to say that. So now that we all feel bad about ourselves, um, if you liked what you heard so far, <laughs> please make sure you're subscribed on Apple Podcasts and give us a rating and review. And please keep, keep listening. listening. And check us out on our Instagram at, at works.4.s. Also, tell us your story stories, guys. We notice that all of you dedicated listeners have been sharing your own relationship stories in the comments of our Instagram, and we love it. They, they are, are great stories. Thank you for sharing them. And we want to give you all a chance to share your stories in a way that we can feature them possibly on our show. There's now a Works For Us phone line that you can call to leave us a message with your very own relationship stories. And we're planning to share our favorites on the podcast. You can also ask us for relationship advice, although I can't stress enough that we are not experts, but we will still take your questions and probably give you the wrong advice. And I kind of feel like we're experts at this point, kind of just by default. So if you want to share your story or ask us a question, give us a call at 657-549-2251. That's 657-549-2251. You can also find all of our contact information on our Instagram at works.4.us. 
Okay, so before we leave, we'd like to give you a little highlight and low light from our week. And in relationships, the bad comes with the good. So this is our time to mention a little bit of both of those things. Okay, mine is really easy. My low light is the fact that I have asked Roger to renew our vows since our 10-year anniversary, our 15, our 20, our 25, and now our 30th, which is coming up on this August 29th. It was our first date 30 years ago. Yes, we were in kindergarten. And so, um, but due to COVID and the Delta variant that's happening right now, neither of us feel good about having a hundred person affair um, to celebrate our anniversary. So when it's safer, we will do it. But nonetheless, I'm definitely very sad about it. So that's your low light. That's my low light. Could that be my highlight that I dodged another bullet? nobody thinks you're funny. I'm, I'm teasing. I I just want to know Roger tries to be cool and like, he's not sad. I wanted to profess my love to you once again. Did you? Totally. I do it every day anyway. Mm. So my highlight is what is my highlight? I don't have a highlight. I'm burnt out. I'm I'm not really highlighting these days. I think the only highlight is I've been trying, I've been eating some really decent food. The Hamptons has really been treating my (laughs) belly pretty well. So I'm going to go with a highlight there. That belly's coming back actually. Not really, but it's- uh, He's eating like a college frat boy. I just want everyone to know. Delicious. My low light has to be the fact that it almost feels like summer's over. Yes, I would agree with that. I think we've been to the beach like twice. Uh Um, just rains here. I'm pretty sure that uh, it's rained all summer. Yeah, anyone think? on the East Coast, I mean, it's been a rainy, rainy summer. And I can't understand why years go so slow and the summer just blows by in like a week. Oh. I don't get it. So my low light is that summer's I'm over. like summer's starting to be over before it really began. Mm, I don't have a highlight that I can share. What do you mean? I don't have a highlight. I gave my low light, but I don't have a highlight. I don't feel very highlighty right now. I think the highlight is that your husband loves you. Mm, Okay. My highlight's that my husband loves me. So that's the good news. Okay, everyone. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on, we'll, we'll, (laughs) we'll talk to you on the next works for us. This is Dr. Laurie Santos from the Happiness Lab. Many people have questions about how to improve levels of happiness. Living a healthy lifestyle is one sure way of increasing happiness. And a good place to start is with your oral health. Just a few small changes to your oral care routine, such as changing your toothpaste to Colgate Total, can lead to beneficial changes in your oral health. Colgate Total helps stop oral health problems like gingivitis and cavities before they start. Because preventing oral health problems is a lot easier than treating them. Be dentist ready and get Colgate Total at shop.colgate.com slash total. Odoo is business management made so simple, a kid could explain it. Sometimes business software can't talk to other programs. But Odoo, funny word, has every program from CRM to HR to accounting in one platform. It should cost a lot, but it doesn't. So you should use Odoo because they save you money. Odoo. Makes a lot of sense, but doesn't cost a lot of sense. Sign up now at odoo.com. That's O-D-O-O dot com. Good job. Thanks. When it comes to travel bags and backpacks, colorful and unique options are hard to come by. Luckily, Baboon to the Moon has you covered. Baboon to the Moon's bags are made for going places near and far and for making you the brightest star at baggage claim. Made with super durable materials and a limited lifetime warranty, your Baboon to the Moon bag will join you for all of life's missed trains, unexpected rain showers, love at first sights, and compliments. Check them out at baboontothemoon.com. Now get lost and make the world more colorful.